Hi friends and welcome back to Jumpstart. So this week we're gonna be reading a birthday basket for Thea. But before we start reading, let's look at a message board, which says, today we are going to read about a girl who planned a special surprise for her aunt. Now every family plans a celebration or a party for special occasions like birthdays. And in this book, the girl's aunt is going to be turning 90 years old. So her family plans a very special surprise birthday party, which is a secret. That way, when she sees everything her family did for her, she will be surprised. So let's start by looking at the cover. This is Cecilia and her tía. Tía means aunt in Spanish. And because Cecilia speaks Spanish, she calls her tía. And this silly cat is Chica. Her name is Chica. And in here you can see how much Cecilia and her they love each other or care for each other. They are very close and hugging each other. And this is Tia's cane that she uses to walk. Now, remember, this is the front cover and the spine and the back cover. So, let's start reading a birthday basket for Tia by Pat Mora. Illustrated by Cicely Lang. Ooh, a birthday basket for Thea. This is a cover page. The title page. <laughs> Today is a secret day. I curl my cat into my arms and say, Shh, Chica, can you keep a secret? Silly cat. Remember, a secret is something that you keep hidden. What is the secret? Hmm. What do you think the secret is? Today is a special day. Today is my great aunt's 90th birthday. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 90 years old, 90 años. At breakfast, Mama asks, What is today, Cecilia? I say, Special day, birthday. And, and this is when she wakes up, Mommy's in the kitchen. Mama is cooking for the surprise party. I smell beans bubbling on the stove. Mama is cutting fruit. Pineapple, watermelon, mangoes. I sit in the backyard and watch Chica chase butterflies. I hear bees buzz. I draw pictures in the sand with a stick. I draw a picture of my aunt, my Thea. I say, Chica, what will we give Thea? Hmm, we want a special present for Thea, right? Because we really care about her. Let's see what what Cecilia plans to give her. Chica and I walk around the front yard and the backyard looking for a good present. We walk around the house. We look in Mama's room. We look in my closet and drawers. I say, Chica, shall we give her my little pots? My piggy bank? My tin fish? My dancing puppets? And here's all her, her possible presents. But let's see what she actually gives her. I say, Mama, can Chica and I use this basket? Mama asks, why, Cecilia? It's a surprise for the surprise party, I answer. Ooh, a surprise. Chica jumps into the basket. No, I say, 
Not for you, silly cat. This is a birthday basket for Thea. <gasps> Ooh, she's going to use a basket, but is she only going to give her the basket? Hmm, let's, let's find out. I put a book in the basket. When Thea comes to our house, she reads it to me. It's our favorite book. I sit close to her in the sofa. I smell her perfume. Sometimes Chica tries to read with us. She sits on the book. I say, silly cat. Books are not for sitting. I think the silly cat wants to read it too. Right? It looks like this is a book about cats too. Or jaguars. And they're all happily reading the book. Hmm, and she put it in her basket. Ooh, I put Thea's favorite mixing bowl on the book in the basket. Thea and I like to make bizcochos, sugary cookies for the family. Thea says, Cecilia, help me stir the cookie dough. She says, Cecilia, help me roll the cookie dough. When we take a warm, the warm cookies from the oven, Thea says. Cecilia, you are a very good cook. And now she has two things in, in the basket. Hmm, she's putting a lot of, of sentimental items, of things that they enjoy doing together. I wonder how Thea is going to like it. Let's look. Chica is also trying to cook. <laughs> She's looking at Cecilia cook. I put a flower pot in the mixing bowl on the book in the basket. Thea and I like to grow flowers for the kitchen window. Chica likes to put her face on the flowers. Silly cat, I say. And here, here's all the flowers that they like to pick up and grow. And she put a flower pot. Oh, she's starting to really fill up the basket. I put a teacup in the flower pot. This is the mix that is in the mixing bowl on the book in the basket. When I'm sick, my aunt makes me hot mint tea. Yerba buena. She brings it to me in bed. She brings me a cookie too. Aw, oh, that's sweet. Sometimes my mom also gives me a nice tea. My grandma too, when I'm feeling sick. What about you? What do your parents give you when you're sick? I put a red ball in the tea cup that is in the flower pot in the mixing bowl on the book in the basket. On warm days, Thea sits outside and throws me the ball. She says, Cecilia, when I was a little girl in Mexico, my sisters and I played ball. We all wore long dresses and had long braids. Oh, I'm wearing braids too. <laughs> but look, she's going to turn 90 years old and she always loves to play with Cecilia. That's why this ball is very special to both of us. Chica and I go outside. I pick flowers and decorate Dia's basket on summer day. On summer days, when I'm swinging up high in the sky, Dia collects flowers from my room. Ooh, now she's starting to decorate it to make the basket look pretty. When she gives it to us, Dia. Mama calls, Cecilia, where are you? Chica and I run and hide our surprise. I say, Mama, can you find the birthday basket for Thea? Mama looks under the table. She looks in the refrigerator. She looks under my bed. She asks, Chica, where's the birthday basket? Ooh, she, she was able to hide it very well if Mom, Mama wasn't able to find it. Chica rubs against my closet door. Mama and I laugh. <laughs> I show her my surprise. After my nap, Mama and I fill a piñata with candy. We fill the living room with balloons. I hum, 
A little work sign like the one Tia hums when she sets the table or makes my bed. I hope mama sets the table with flowers and tiny cake. Ooh, now they're starting to decorate the table for the party. Here come the musicians. Ooh, look. All the musicians. The people that sing, the people that play the guitar, the trombone. I open the front door, our family and friends begin to arrive too. I curl Chica into my arms. Then Mama says, shh, here comes Tia. I rush up in the front door, Tia, Tia, I shout. She hugs me and says, Cecilia, que pasa? What is this? Ooh, does she look surprised? They look happy. Surprise! We all shout, Feliz cumpleaños! Happy birthday! The musicians begin to play the guitars and violins. Tia, tia! I say, it's a special day, birthday day. It's your 90th birthday surprise party. Tia and I laugh. Like everybody's so happy. They're celebrating Tia's 90th birthday and they're all there because they care about her i gave her the birthday basket everyone gets close to see what's inside slowly dia smells the flowers she looks at me and smiles then she takes the red ball out of the teacup and the teacup out of the flower pot she pretends to make a sip of tea and we all laugh <laughs> look She's pretending to take the sip. But she looks happy, right? This whole time, Cecilia was very eager to give it to her. She was feeling excited. She wanted to give her her present. Carefully, Dia takes the flower pot out of the bowl and the bowl off of the book. She doesn't say a word. She just stops and looks at me. Then she takes our favorite book out of the basket. And guess who jumps into the basket? Who do you think jumps into the basket? Hmm. Chica. Everybody laughs. Then the music starts and my aunt surprises me. She takes my hands into hers. Without her cane, she starts to dance with me. Ooh. Well, there's Chica, and there they are dancing. Very happy and surprised. I'm sure Dia was very happy with her present. She even started to dance with her without her cane. Well, that's the end of the book. Thank you for reading this with me. And please come back for the rest of the activities about a birthday basket for Tia. Okay, thank you, friends. Bye. I'll see you next time.